Our brain receives 40 million bits of information each second. How many of it our brain can seriously process and focus at once? Think about it. 400,000? 40,000? Nah, it's just 40 bits of information it can process in one second. I know it's too damn low. And that's why we feel dumb most of the time. It's not our fault. We all can blame our stupid brain for that. But how can we get most out of our brain is the real question. So before we talk about the best way to learn to code, let's see how our brain stores the information it receives. To answer that, we may actually need to look at how our brain stores information. There are two kinds of memory in our brain long-term and short-term memory. To get better at coding, we want all our coding knowledge and learning to be stored in the long-term memory. And the only way to do that is by repetitive actions. Practice, practice and more practice. And it is not just related to coding. Any new skill can only be acquired by practice. To get better at coding, make sure you're doing enough repetition so that your brain is able to move all of that info to long-term memory. Now let's see the next part of the puzzle. Feedback. So instead of trying to focus on just learning, you also need to find ways to get feedback on your learning. But how could you get that feedback, especially when you are self-taught? The way most students try to learn coding is via books or websites like Free Code Camp. Now, they're excellent ways to learn, but they lack one crucial aspect of learning, getting the actual feedback. You can gain whatever they teach you, but there is no enforcement of learning involved. No one will make your mistakes correct. So what should you do? I think you should start with building real world projects. Because when you have a goal in your mind that you want to build something, you can only end the process by building it. And this building stuff will pressure your brain to actually understand things and with actually grasping it. You can use that knowledge and build something out of it. In the book Peak, How to Master Almost Anything by Anderson Erickson, he talks about purposeful practice. So he defined purposeful practice like this. Get outside your comfort zone, but do it in a focused way. With clear goals, a plan for reaching those goals, and a way to monitor your progress. Oh, and also figure out a way to maintain your motivation. So in our case, we can start with the project with a clear goal, a git repo, and just start building the project with a definite ending. And don't take on a big project in the beginning. Start with something small, which maybe you can do in a week or so, and increase complexity with time. Don't rush or get overexcited to build something huge. And in the process, you will definitely lose your motivation and will probably just abandon the project. Yeah, for beginners, just start with a basic portfolio website. Because see, when you're building stuff just by yourself, you need to plan every tiny details. And when you plan everything and when you execute it, you will learn a lot of things which you just can't get from books or tutorials. So make sure you are doing basic projects first and then increase the complexity with time. I think that's the best approach you can do to learn the fundamentals of a language or, or of a framework. I see a lot of folks who think they need to master everything before they start their first job. They just assume they need to learn the whole HTML, CSS and JavaScript from beginning to end and then only they can apply for a job. This is the recipe for a disaster. Don't do that. You don't need to become a master to get your first job. You need to become confident enough that with basic skills and enough trust in yourself that you'll be able to quickly upgrade yourself and will be able to deliver on your first job. So how would I suggest learning code and actually getting the job? Before doing anything, your first few months should only be focused on understanding the basics of your language or framework, whatever you are doing at that moment. It usually takes one to two months to understand the basics. And once you are confident in it, start building projects and just start applying for jobs. That requires no experience or less experience. I mean, you have nothing to lose. Even it takes me years to get this, that I don't need to know everything before I start working on a project or a job. All I need 
is intent to learn and have my basics down as long as i have done that i'm good to go okay thanks a lot for watching this video and i will see you next time